In this section, we coded this web app, which looks like this on the browser. However, this is running on our local computer only, so no one can see this app. If you want people to see it, which is normal, uh, you want to deploy the web app in a server which runs 24-7. Of course, you can let your computer run 24-7, which is not a good idea anyway. And, uh, but on top of that, you'd have to configure your computer as a server. Uh, so you'd have to do a lot of server administration tasks. But you are a programmer, you are not a server admin. Mm, so it's a smart thing to actually go to a server that others administrate and you can just put your script, your Python code there and the app will run on a URL, on an address. So I'm going to show you just that in this video. A good service is pythonanywhere.com that lets you deploy Python web apps. Now they have a free plan. So you just go on pricing and sign up to create a, an account. So it's for free. It just gives you um, a web app, not more than one. So create a username. I'll just write meters feet, an email. And register. Then take the tour if you want. I'll just click on end tour and then go to web. Add a new web app. Click next. You want to click on Flask. So there are several web frameworks for Python. We use the Flask framework. So you want to click that and just click the last version of Python. This is a path. I'll just leave it like that. Click next. And so your web app is now set up. If you want to see your web app, you can visit, in my case, it's my username metersfeed.pythonanywhere.com. And you see that for now, it's just a simple web app. Hello from Flask, because we haven't uploaded anything. Now go to files and go to my site. Now the flask app.py, this is a default file. If you click it, you're going to see this hello from flask. That's what is being rendered now. Hello from flask. Uh, so Python Anywhere is using that. I'll just go back to my sites in here. And I'm going to delete that flask underscore app.py file. So delete it and upload your own Python file. That's app.py in my case. And I also need the backend.py file. So these two are now in the my site folder. Now in the same folder, I want to create a templates directory. So here under directory, type templates with lowercase letters and click on new directory. Now you are inside templates folder. There you need to upload the index.html file. So index.html now is uploaded. Next, go back to web. Mm, go down here under code. Click on WSGI configuration file just here and here you want to change this flask app which was the old name of the file that we deleted so we want to change that to the name of the file you uploaded which is app so from app import app and basically it's from app so from app.py import app so import variable app that's what's happening here. Mm, click on save. Then click on this icon here and go back to web. Then reload the web page. And then click on here. 
and this is your web page. Now it's online and everyone can visit it through this URL. So it's your username dot pythonanywhere.com. And this now should work the same way as it did on your local host. So if you managed to do this, congratulations. If not, drop a question in the Q&A or just watch this video again because you might have been missing some small detail. You can also go back here in the web and then go down here and say delete your app and then go and delete all the files you have inside my site so you can delete those and the templates and then upload them again trying to make things work you can also look at these error logs here to see what errors you might get so you click that and you'll see a list of errors if there were errors in your web app to understand what is going on in case of a problem i hope you enjoy this and I think you now have a better perspective of what Python can do. You know how to make a desktop app, you know how to make a web app with Python. And you can always go back to your code, improve them, and then re-upload that file again by deleting the old files on your web app, or, or you can make the standalone desktop app again from the beginning, and so on. So thanks a lot for following these videos.